so today we're gonna be building my new PC. Now this is gonna be my all around workhorse. This is gonna be used for gaming, streaming, video editing, you name it, it's gonna do it flawlessly, no issues, hopefully. So this time around, I went with the all white build. We've got the Hyatt Y70 Touch. Now, if you know, you know, this case has been sold out everywhere. But yeah, enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and build this damn thing. Before we install the CPU, we're gonna take the stock mounting bracket off just because it doesn't do as a good of a job as an aftermarket. These aftermarkets from Thermalright, they're like $15, but it will give you adequate equal pressure on the CPU. So hopefully that improves thermals, but we're just gonna do it. So for the RAM, we're going with 128 gigs. Of course, there's Dominator Titanium. This is DDR5 RAM clocked at 6,600 megahertz. This should be a solid upgrade. fans we're gonna set those to the side oh this is the fan hub mounting brackets black cables bruh that's annoying Thought I had everything for the PC. Thought through the whole plan, had all the cords. Turns out I didn't. Um, no surprise there. I ended up needing a nine pin USB hub. They're supposed to be here any day but before 10 p.m. So hopefully it's earlier in the day than later so we can get this done today. But in the meantime, we got a little bit of a monitor upgrade. All right, so this is the current setup. It's a little old, a little dated. One screen doesn't work. This PC is about six years old. This shelf is outdated and needs to be replaced. So I was looking around, I took all the bays out to see if there was an easy way to put the M.2 drives in, and I was right, they're over there. So 
So far so good. I think it looks solid. It looks clean. The only thing that's kind of messy is the cables, but obviously I'll do that later once I get the PC in here and get everything set up. But for now, it's looking better than it did before. <laughs> short on USB headers and RGB headers. So I had to get two splitters and they didn't care till today. We got that hooked up. We got, you know, everything in, I think. Now we can finally put in the graphics card. <laughs> Yo, this thing is gigantic. Holy. I think everything's done right. All right. Well, I'm pretty confident we shouldn't have any error. Here we go. Bruh. Oh, damn. I didn't plug it in. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Let's go. Hmm. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. We're All right, we're golden. <laughs> She's pretty big. Ooh. So we're doing a bit of an upgrade. This is the 57 inch Odyssey Neo G9 from Samsung. I'm gonna be going with the Vivo mount, white pneumatic single arm ultra wide monitor wall mount. Whew. That's a mouthful. But this is the wall mount we're gonna be using. It's supposed to be good, I think up to 100 pounds. And this is like, I don't know, 60, 70 pounds. So we should be good, but unbox this and get rolling. Let's go! Back, we got both arms. And like that, we got a hole, big boy. This is where our cords are gonna exit and be ran to the back. And oh yeah! All right, we're gonna put some RGB strips on there. Cause why not? Oh, yeah. I like using this thing. So the desk setup is almost complete. I've got all the cables hidden. I've got everything set up for the most part. The last thing I wanted to do, the last thing that needs a little bit of love is the back wall. Now, right now it's got some holes from the shelves. And so I got to figure out something to do. So I did some Googling and this is what I came up with. What do you think? Grass panels on the wall? Yes or no? I've seen some people do it. I think it looks cool. I don't know. I already bought them. So we're just going to roll with it. Yeah. 
knock it out, we got a hole, big boy.